What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over this hacker rank top view. Um, so this is a question that's super ambiguous and doesn't really make any sense. And I, don't, I don't even know why it's on the easy category. Basically we're given the pointer of a binary tree. We need to, imp to, we need to print the top view and they don't tell you anything about this. Um, so if you were to just look at this tree, we have one, two, five, three, six, and four. The top view is one, two, five, and six. And you would think that it's just traversing to the right, but that's not what it's doing. So I'm gonna explain what they mean by top view because this is kind of ridiculously hard to understand. So given their um, test cases, right? Given their test cases, um, hold on, let me just erase this. Given their test cases, this is what they mean by top view. So this is their test case of their tree, one, two, five, three, six, and four. What they mean is if you were to draw a line from the top all the way to the bottom for every single node you see, right? Just draw a line here. What is the first node that you encounter every single time? Well, the answer is simple. The first node that you see drawing a line from top to bottom, viewing it from the top node, right? For viewing, for viewing it this way is gonna be one, two, five, and six. Okay, because that that's where it is from the top node. Three and four, you don't see it viewing from the top, so that's why it is like that. So here, the answer would be one, two, five, and six. Okay, so how do you do this question? Um, so I actually had trouble doing this problem myself, so I'm just gonna explain the gist of it, and then I'll go over the code. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run breadth first search, and Every time we go down a level on the right side, we're going to increase the level by one. And every time we go traverse to the left side, that we see, you know, we're going to decrease the level by one. Okay. So then what we're, what's, the, what's going to happen is that um, every time we insert this into a, uh, into a sorted map, um, the first level that we see, we're just going to print that node. Okay, like the first value that has the same level, we're going to print that node. So essentially what we're doing is like we're we're just going to keep traversing down and then anything that's like has the same level, as you see, as you can see here, like two, three would have like the same level here. And then five and four would have like the same level because if you go left minus one, then plus one, you would have zero, right, from five. So that's why it would be the same level, right? So then if we add this into a sorted map, you would see five first, okay? So that, that's what they mean by this. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll just explain the code now. So here we have a Q that, that's gonna represent a level, a pair level, and then the current node. And we're gonna push the pair of zero and the root. So what this is doing is that the zero is starting as the, the root has the level of zero, okay? The root has a level of zero, that's where we push this onto the queue. Our map is going to represent a sorted um, pair of map, mapping the current level that you're at, and then the node, first node that you see. So then when we loop through in, inside the map and we add the levels there, um, Whichever we see first is going to be the value that we're going to print out. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do is while the queue is not empty, so this is breadth first search, we're going to get the front of the node, uh, the front of the queue. Um, if the node is not null, we're going to insert this into our map at position I. Um, yeah, we're going to insert answer.insert I, which is going to be like the pair that we see. Um, into our map, and then we're going to push the uh, plus one to the current level when we go to the right side, and then minus one of the current level when we go to the left side. So we're going to push both of those onto the queue, and then what we're doing is we're just popping the queue, and then we get the front of the queue again. In the end, whichever we see first inside the map is going to we're just going to print out the data at that data. So let's actually just go over like an example of this. 
I have this on the left side and I have this on the right side. So um, first we're pushing the first value. Someone's just screaming outside. Anyway, uh, here's our queue. And then we're gonna have our map on the bottom here. So this is gonna be our map. Um, this is gonna be pro probably hard to look at, but bear with me. All right, we push the current root, which is gonna be zero. And then no, uh, the root, which is gonna be one, okay? So the first level starts at zero and one is gonna be the root, okay? Uh, the, the date, our current node. All right, we're gonna get the first and first value of our queue, which is gonna be zero one. Is this node empty? Is it not, is it not equal to null, right? Um, so it's not equal to null. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert this into our map. So our map is going to now have at uh, pair zero one. So it's going to have, um, in this map, it's gonna be like zero, one, okay? Um, one is representing the data that, of our node. Okay, zero represents the current level. All right, now we're gonna pop this from our queue. So, oh, oh yeah, my bad, I forgot to insert it. So uh, once we insert zero and one, we're gonna insert uh, the level plus one of the right node, and then we're gonna do minus one for the left, the left node. So plus one of the level, our current level is zero, so we're gonna plus one is gonna be plus one, so it's gonna be one. And then uh, we gotta push the right node, so it's gonna be two. Okay, um, now we're gonna minus one on the left side. So uh, zero minus one is gonna be negative one, so it's gonna be negative one left side. And then uh, this negative one's left side is going to be null. So right? there's nothing here on the left side of one, so it's gonna be null. Okay. Now we're now what it's gonna do, it's gonna pop the first value of our queue, and then we're gonna go to the front. Alright, now we're at uh so yeah, now we're at this one. Now we're at one, two, so we're at this node. Now um is two not equal to null? And it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're going to push the pair of uh we're gonna add two to our map. So our map is gonna have, uh, let me actually move this up. Here, yeah. So now our map is gonna have a map of one and then two as our node, right? So we insert this into our map and then we're gonna push the right side of our two, which is gonna be five. And we're gonna plus one to the current level of it. So one plus one, it will be two. And then we're going to push, push the left side of it, which is going to be minus one of the current level we're at. So plus one minus one is going to be zero. And then second to the left here, right, is null. Right, two to the left side is null, so it's going to be null. Okay. All right. Now we're going to pop the first value off of our Q. So this is going to be popped. And we're gonna get the front of our queue, which is gonna be negative one null. So um, is the second one equal to null pointer? Uh, yes, it is. So all we do is we're just gonna pop it, pop this value off. And then we're gonna get the front value of two and five, level two and five. So here is that's level two and five. Is this, uh, is five not equal to null? So yes, it's not equal to null. So we're gonna insert two and five to our to our map, right? Um, and then we're gonna push the left side of five. So uh, right now we're at five, right? We're gonna push its left side and then its right side of six. So let's push the right side of six first. So that's this part, plus one. So what is the level of two? Uh, level of five is two. So we're gonna plus one to on the right side, which is gonna be three. And we push six. Okay, right? So that's that's this six, right? Um, and then we're gonna push the left side, which is gonna be two minus one, which is one, and we push three. Okay, so that's this left side. So two minus one is one, and then we push three. Okay, um, now we pop two five out. So two five is popped out, and we're gonna get the first value of null, which is two five, zero and null. And we get to the first value to the top again, um, 
yeah, is the second one null? It is, so we just pop it and get the front of our node again, which is 3, 6. So now we're at this part, okay? So uh, remember that this, this left side is the level, the right side is the actual node, all right? Uh, don't confuse this 3 with this level, this 3. This is the level that we're at, not the actual thing. All right, so now we're at 3, 6. Is this null? No, it's not null. We're going to insert 3, 6 to our thing. Okay, now we're going to push uh, its left left child and uh, push the right child and the left child, and they're both actually negative, so it's going to be like 4 and null. 4, null. Um, I'm going to actually move this up. Okay, so it's 4, 4, null. Level four, null, and then it will be, uh, what's three minus one, it will be two. So level two, and then null. Okay, so that's pushing null. There's like null here and null here. That's pushing those levels. Um, yeah, now um, after we push this, we're gonna pop this three, one, three off. So one, three is off. Um, and then we get the front, which is gonna be four. 4 null, and then 4 null is, uh, let's see, there's nothing, there's null here, so we're going to pop that off, and then after we pop 4 null off, we get the front of the list, which is going to be, um, I believe, did we pop 3, 6 off? I think we popped that off, also, yeah. Um, we're going to have 2 null, and after 2 null, we're going to, we're going to just pop this off, so, yeah, there's nothing there, because right side is null so we're not going to do anything so we just pop that off so in the end our map is going to be zero one two three and then our values is going to be we just go through and print these values which is one two five and six and i think that's the gist of it yeah one two five and six so yeah that's pretty much the the, the whole solution of this problem basically we're just going to keep pushing a pair of the left side uh we're going to map the current level we're on, and then the pair of the right side of the null. Running breath first search, push the level and the node that we're on, and then, yeah, we're gonna insert that into a map. At the end, we print out the map, and the map is just gonna show the first, the first uh, node that we encounter. So that's gonna be the the node that, uh, that we see from top to bottom. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.